ಐದು ನಾಲ್ಕು ಮೂರು ಎರಡು ಒಂದು ರೋಲಿಂಗ್ ಆಕ್ಷನ್ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಗುರು ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಲಾಂಗ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಫೈನಲಿ ತುಂಬಾ ದಿನ ಆಯ್ತು ಎಷ್ಟು ಎರಡ್ ಮೂರ್ ವಾರ ಆಯ್ತಾ ಇನ್ನು ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಇನ್ನ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಆಗಿದೆ ದಿಸ್ ವಾಸ್ ಪ್ಲಾನ್ ಲಾಂಗ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಡ್ಯೂ ಬಟ್ ದೆನ್ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ದ ಟೈಮ್ ಡಿಂಟ್ ಮೀಟ್ ದ ಸರ್ಕಮ್ಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸಸ್ ಫೈನಲಿ ದ ಟೈಮ್ ಹಸ್ ಕಮ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಗ್ರ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಫಿನಾಲೆ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನಿಂಗ್ ರೈಟ್ ನೌ ಗ್ರ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಫಿನಾಲೆ ದೆನ್ ಹೌ ಆರ್ ಯು ಐ ಆಮ್ ಫೈನ್ ಆಮ್ ಹಾ ಗ್ರ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಫಿನಾಲೆ ಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಟು ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ಸೋ ದ ಗ್ರ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಫಿನಾಲೆ ರೈಟ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಒನ್ ದ ಮ್ಯಾಚ್ ಸೆಷನ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ದಟ್ ಟು ಕಟ್ ಆನ್ ದೆನ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಅ ಫ್ಯೂ ಕ್ವಾರ್ಟರ್ ಫಿನಾಲೆ ಎಷ್ಟೆ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸೆಮಿ ಫಿನಲ್ಸ್ that also failed so finally we have come to the finale and finale. i don't know why google meet sucks to the core today i don't know why yeah uh maybe connectivity no idea network network seems fine from both our ends uh let's let's hope that uh, it stays yeah like that google yeah do something i have to call yeah i have to call sundar pichai for this make a call make a call why is not doing his work properly <laughs> get in touch with akshay he is not the doing number. his work properly <laughs> yeah yeah he is uh, highly influential yeah we should get him also sometime then, yeah we'll plan we'll plan everyone together one oh, we have to plan that will be one one amazing. group one group uh, chat that would be the fitting end to this yes. series yes we'll plan on that for sure we'll take that for uh, the notice So time is around 5 is it good time to ask about coffee uh, actually i'm having so please feel free to get a cup of coffee you can oh i am on a diet i am on a diet i can't have coffee ah this Why is diet? really long. because i was seeing i i got inspired by lot of videos on the cycle repair video <laughs> the cake making video <laughs> i actually showed it to my sister my mother at my home they were like okay we'll try this way <laughs> how, so, did, how did you did, why did are you in it? a diet oh yeah yeah, this, yeah. cake cake came cake, cake was came uh, really well. good the chocolate uh-huh. cake yeah it came out well cake came out well bicycle repair uh, i did uh, repair my bicycle and started cycling but uh, unfortunately i fell sick after 2 to 3 days oh uh, cold and stuff so had to no, stop just... and uh, I didn't go back <laughs> i don't know why but every time after a long time if you start cycling suddenly everyone are falling sick even my friend that you saw the video she fell sick hmm. immediately the next day i don't know what correct, is correct. with cycling and uh, falling sick after a long time <laughs> i was seeing that in your video i guess uh, the most yeah. recent one where you said you all cycled on the first day and then it's done <laughs> yes uh, that is done <laughs> that is scenario was plot so coming back to the question why am i dieting so a few days back this scenario happened okay i a friend of mine told me uh, i actually asked him how do i get fit like when you see you don't have nothing to do these days how why not get fit and stuff then he said to be a workout after i did my after i did that it was just basic two basic workout after i did that the next day i realized how unfit i am because you start getting cramps all over your body or you feel that you are too unfit so that was the time that i realized oh this is not good i might get heart disease when i'm 30 or 40 so let's get back on track anta so going on pretty good till now only thing the bad thing is i'm not i'm missing coffee too much mm-hmm. but i don't think coffee will amper your diet that much you can still oh, have i am i am doing on an extreme level like calorie to calorie weighing based level i am doing oh no even even i am di- i can't say i am dieting i can say i am uh, controlling fitness drills and trying to exercise every day to stay fit so yeah that is okay but uh, don't do it at an extreme so that you miss your favorite foods yeah that that's what i am repenting coffee, right now, but yeah. you you never can say no to coffee <laughs> i am so jealous of you right now don't ask me <laughs> for a time to have no, coffee no every day that has become a routine that i i start my work before, like before starting my work i have a cup of coffee and then after i end my work also i have a cup 
so it has become some sort of a routine that i Until know right that goes in in the brain doesn't function that optimal as as we want or as Don't. the company wants <laughs> totally agreed because especially yes. i don't know in our culture i feel i first thing everyone does in my home after waking up is having a cup of coffee and evening you put a time slot for having a cup of coffee so coffee or tea tea is also yeah. pretty dominant yeah my home it's coffee so i'll take that into consideration mm, nice so how is how is the no how is the how was lockdown lock okay <laughs> i saw that in your previous lock yeah. <laughs> always how was yeah. ah, lockdown was um, i can say mixed for me started off really well thinking okay i'll get lot of time i used i i worked like crazy in the lockdown maybe april may march april may were like the busiest uh, days i used to get up by 9:30 10 start doing courses projects research work this that that i used to sleep by 2 to 33 so i also used to sleep by 2 33 but yeah that was for a different reason yeah you were doing something else <laughs> <laughs> yeah no you were busy on your mac editing videos yeah 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 <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah the the beginning part of lockdown was bad but then uh, i didn't have a job at that time although i had a job i had to reject it because i had different interest and the company was working on something else so i had oh. to reject it so without a job uh, it it, uh, it started affecting me slowly that okay what do i do what's next how will i survive and all, almost at the end of my four years now now what do i do so that got to me and uh, there were few difficult moments uh, you know used to struggle and somehow got that back to track by meditation yoga fitness uh, now things are going well a uh, lot of tension during exams uh, study the the covid situation and stuff but now yeah things are settling down work is there you we'll get to meet uh, people although we haven't met uh, yeah because when you came to college i was not in college and when i when you were not there so hopefully we all meet soon yeah uh, for collecting degree certificate we should all meet yeah yeah <laughs> one side for all <laughs> one side for all so now things have settled down i've got to a routine monday to friday although it's flexible but still uh, get some day off at saturday sunday so work is pretty good i'm enjoying so not much of a stress now but earlier oh. it was pretty tense moments a uh, few weeks what are you working on have you started working are you allowed yeah. to tell that uh i can tell what domain i'm working so okay. i'm working as a deep learning engineer at okay. a company called deep vision tech.ai so it's a startup uh, almost one and a half years now so we work on a application uh, development testing everything is done in house and stuff so i'm part of the team where we do the initial r and d and uh, start building and developing the product for those of uh, people who don't know because we are computer science engineers we have a degree can you just give a brief uh, like in layman's term of what is deep learning exactly or what exactly does it do okay deep learning to explain explain it to a layman it is uh, as simple as uh, a machine uh, a, a child or a kid would have used computer to to do some task so what if when you log into the computer and everything is ready to you what if you say some commands and uh, the computer changes or runs your program so every day you run a program and it gets used to your routine and it learns from that and make sure everything is ready for you at that instant so deep learning is something which is making our lives easier uh, as compared to the traditional going logging in and stuff so it adapts to your personal personality your way of working and it tries to make your life easy so it is it is like a software which is uh, just like you it is like a personal assistant to you uh, in a, in a in a nutshell so so basically like it's just it's like uh, just like google assistant my assistant gets uh, matched to me every time i go like your car is parked here you want it to stay there after some time so something of that sort similar yeah so google apple all this uh, tech giants uh, invest billions of dollars in deep learning because 
Uh, it is making huge impacts all around the world and in all communities, rich, poor. It doesn't. It doesn't discriminate. So yeah. that part of technology is accessible and it is doing wonders now. So yeah, Google Assistant is one of the most uh, simple examples of deep learning applications where it will try to recognize your voice. Even though you are a family of five to six, it will recognize your voice and give yeah. your personalized results. So, so that is the magic of deep learning. So on that note, I would like to come back a little bit. Okay, this happened yesterday. Yeah. Uh, I went out just for a walk. It had been long since I went, so I met this person. So this person, mm -hmm. I met. I he. I think he was my neighbor very, very long time ago. Somewhere when I was very small, say I was in fourth grade or fifth grade. He used to stay near my house. So basically, he runs a school. Okay. Okay. Out of nowhere, I met this person after a very, very long time. He recognized me. I could recognize him. I was wearing a mask and all. For some reasons, I didn't want to speak to him. I know he's a bit a drill machine. I didn't want to speak to him. He came and like, hey, and I'm like, oh, the, I'm like, oh yeah, I have to speak to him now. Then I spoke. Then he's like, what are you doing now? And I asked. I told him, and I just completed engineering. I started to work. And I told. He's like, uh, okay, why, why are you doing engineering? All my students are telling that uh, please tell your students not to do engineering now. I was shocked. I was like, why, and I. Then it's like Kelsa illante, job illante, enge enge illa. So then I told him, if you have skill, you'll have job. That that what you do you have to say anything about it because you've passed that stage, right? When you told that, that came uh, to my mind. Yeah, correct. Definitely, definitely. Before answering that, when you said the drill machine, one name flashed in my mind, and that is Srinivasan of chemistry department. <laughs> <laughs> I remember those days where we used to have fun. Special mention to Akash Reddy and Yeshan <laughs> Babu. The chemistry labs was so goddamn fun. <laughs> especially <laughs> we, we get talking. Yeah, especially Vaiva. We will we'll, uh, you know, recollect all those things later. So coming back to your question. So yeah, uh, people say, uh, no, there is a surplus of engineers graduating per year in our country. But the quality of education or the quality of uh, engineers passed out is not that great, mainly because many factors, you know, personal factors and yeah, I'll add one point that factors. I think you should have passion towards what you're doing. And if you're just doing it for the sake of doing it, I think you will end up uh, with what I were told. The quality is uh, there's no quality. I yeah, guess. yeah, definitely. there should. Yeah. So there comes the personal uh, you know, pressure from family that you have to do. That has to stop. And uh, the syllabus, the recent trends, technology, what is actually required is not, uh, not that uh, effectively thought. I agree that few things are thought like when we talk about computer science, data structures, you know, networking, DVMS. When we were at that age, we thought, okay, where we'll use it now. But yeah. now, at some part, we will use it. Yes. So it is not entirely the fault of the system. But majority fault is of the system, how, how it is structured. Certain changes needs to be made. Yeah, and personally also, you need to have that uh, patience and uh, determination that if I want to do something I love, I have to be ready to take some risks and uh, be ready to uh, you know endure a few, few tough moments also. Because I was without a job for what, uh, maybe eight months, nine months before because I quit, I quit my placements really early. Because after SAP and stuff, I got uh, you know, disheartened and stuff. Nothing is working for me, so I thought, okay, I'll quit it. So once I quit, it was it was something new that I had to wait, wait, wait. So after okay. a year, maybe I got a job where finally all the hard work paid off. So yeah, it does happen, but uh, it takes time, it takes patience, and definitely, if you go through that, you'll you'll definitely get what you want. Correct. Totally. So my advice would be to uh, don't quit soon, hang in there and it will happen. Patience and hard work always pays off. Oh, definitely. Nothing can and, be. Yeah. And don't just, you know, keep pressing on the thing that you don't have something in, un, uh, unless work on, work on your skill, improve your skill and improve on whatever you want to do or something like that. Yeah, yeah. definitely, definitely. So shifting abruptly from serious topics to a bit on the comical side, what hobbies have you picked up in your busy schedule during the lockdown? Uh, sorry, I couldn't get here. You know? uh, which ho any hobbies that you've picked up during your busy schedule in the lockdown? Hobby, hobby. 
I, I wanted to draw and paint a lot because that was my childhood hobby. I used to paint a lot, uh, you know, in my uh, fifth grade to tenth grade. So I wanted to do that, but somehow it didn't it didn't materialize. So I, I've read a lot of books. So reading has become a an hobby. And uh, uh, any book in mind I, that you would like to suggest? Because I I have started. Oh, there are a lot of books. Uh, I don't read the fictional novels. I kind of read life uh, books. If I'm yeah, right. uh, I read uh, biographies, success stories, and few few books by Dale Carnegie, like you know, how to stop worrying and start living, how to win friends, and I have read biographies on a few famous personalities like Elon, Jack Ma, Bill Gates. So those things help me a lot in combating the failure. So okay. Jack Ma says, don't learn from anyone's success, learn from a person's failures, so that you could. you could do that if you fall in that situation so yeah. that that uh, that is uh, one of my new found hobbies earlier i never used to read but now i have this much of books uh, on my <laughs> on my desk so i i am proud to say that and uh, i started taking care of plants so i have some oh. to nine parts of plants interesting what and plants I, do you have see i have two roses uh, and uh, two other different flower plants tulsi all flowering plants Tulsi, I I recently uh, got a sunflower seed packet that uh, do yourself at home that kit. So oh. I sold those. Uh, I does. So you can grow sunflower in your house, huh? Like, does it have a weather uh, yeah, or something? Yeah. No. Uh, what they say is it needs, of course, sunshine and huh. a good amount of watering. So three to four times per day you need to water. Uh, yeah, uh, I should. So, yeah, I, yeah. You'll get that online. Three hundred rupees. You can order. You'll get the pot also. You'll get the the soil also. All from, past, just, so. from past few days, I have this. Uh, you know, I am a person where I get uh, one or the other thing daily. So from past few days, I have this thing in mind that start gardening, grow vegetables and stuff. Yeah, that time I have one tomato plant actually, right now from again a lockdown story episode. Deepa told me to plant that day. I planted that day a tomato that is still happening. Along with that, I am planning to start this uh, so-called vegetable garden. But again, I am scared of these monkeys. Ah uh, no, vegetable garden you can do it in your inside your house also. It doesn't uh, require big pots or lot of sunshine. You can see I have planned and uh, to grow chili, brinjal. You can grow coriander, uh, and to some extent, yeah, uh, tomato, potato. Potato also is growable, but it takes like four to five months. Right. So yeah, even I am trying to get that vegetable garden inside my house. But Garden outside my house, I have these uh, flower plants. uh that money plant that uh -huh. sugar uh, the plant which cures sugars all those leaves. sugars sir yeah there is one plant uh, my mom sowed it uh, around 3 months back so it okay. gives a lot of a leaf where huh. it is very good for diabetic patient it seems oh nice. no one in no one in my house is a diabetic patient but, but still, still yeah one more plant this is interesting you eat and, the leaves uh, uh, occasionally mom puts that in tea when when she prepares tea oh. so you can put good for health Yeah, it's good for health. So and amrutha balli, all those uh, traditional leaves. So we are all growing that outside the house. Inside uh, uh, all these vegetable uh, things. And How much effort does it take before I start? Uh, not much. It doesn't take much of effort. Uh, see, one thing is, of course, you need some some pot. You need some you know soil, proper soil, and then every day it is like brushing your teeth. Every day you brush your teeth. Every day you water the plants. That's all. Okay, on that question, where do you get the soil from? Like, is there any particular kind soil, of soil? Because that has been nursery, my biggest nursery. question. Nursery. Uh, you you use nursery. any particular uh, soil? Because uh, black soil, that soil, this soil, I'm always confused. Uh, so I'll tell you the procedure also. So you take a pot. Huh. Uh, of course, the pot should have a small hole so that water drains. Uh -huh. So yeah. you put the construction stone, jelly color. Hmm 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 hmm. Some five to six at the bottom, hmm. then uh, sand. Uh, Why water. stones? Stone uh, just to make sure the water seeps out and the 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 drainage hole is not blocked with soil. Oh, I'm I'm listening to this for the first time. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because if you put the whole pot with the soil, sometimes the drainage hole might get blocked, oh, and yeah, water correct. water might not go out and it may stand. Correct, correct, correct. So if you put some stones, it will percolate out. Huh. So. 
some sand and uh, normal kemmanu uh, ha uh. adr mele salpa gobra that also you get in nursery only uh, they charge like uh, around 50 to 60 rupees for per getting plant. ready for pot no uh, per pot full pot plant uh. you can put it at home seeds uh, you, you get it also in nursery yeah uh. so how do you grow chilli 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 seeds oh you get chilli seeds sir. Hey, chili. If you cut it, you oh, you have said the small one, that one. Oh, it works. Chili seeds, tomato also is grown that way only. Ah, yeah. Tomato, I put half oh. raw tomato and buried it. Ah, it will grow. Potato is very simple. Ah, potato. Grow. You have potato to keep it in water for few days, no? And then when, once that this potato, thing comes, potato. Yeah, potato is done that way. Carrot is done done ah. that way. And uh, many other plants. Aloe vera is very easy to grow. and huh. i have like 3 to 4 pots full of aloe vera <laughs> because it grows pretty pretty quickly and pretty easy also one small you uh, know uh, one small part is enough to grow a big tree also oh big my god tree. yeah so aloe vera is pretty simple to uh, garden so yeah gardening and reading were the uh, two prominent hobbies watching apart from that watching yeah occasionally i did watch uh, you know series and movies but not that much uh you're the first that, person telling this <laughs> literally you're the first yeah. person telling this <laughs> no because lockdown was a struggle to me rather than uh, you know uh, time to spend easily and stuff because without a job i had to struggle a lot so i used to spend like 10 12 even hours even before day. completing your degree why were you under such a stress uh somewhere i had big plans of achieving things and stuff i aspire very very high i i dream big so uh, that is very good is, yeah so somewhere uh, i get that reality check saying no 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 this is not this is not good enough to do look at other people they are hustling for some some hours per week they are doing lot of you know break you know breakthrough moments and stuff what are you doing sitting at home so that that certainly is is a good thing also is a bad thing when it comes to mental health and stuff correct so my unwind, unwinding moments were spending time with books family gardening occasionally i used to watch few good series i i play games so which what do you so i play this f1 i play fifa oh, computer games I, yeah yeah come i even i used to play board games also like uh, ludo snake and ladder with family Have you played Ludo on mobile? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> There was this one time. Right? How come we never played together then? At one point of time, I used to play a lot, like a lot, lot, whole night. There were scenarios where I played the whole night, whole entire freaking Ludo. night. We played Ludo. One match after the Ludo other. Ludo, I played. Ludo, I played. Uh, Carrom, I played online. Uh, apart from this, there are few this game Scribble. Huh, yeah. Scribble is. You remember we used to play this uh, game in class. What what? Ah, say. Uh, uh, we used to play in the class. Like correct, correct, class correct. is going on. We used to play say. Those say are the days. Say was one one application where it brought every one of us together yeah. in session. Yes. Me, Manoj, Swaraj, Swaraj. Gindo. <laughs> so many right? Like uh, literally, like twelve, thirteen people we used to play. Yeah, a lot of people. Uh, Varsha, Shilpa, everyone. We used to play. So yeah, every every day we used to reach home by six thirty, maybe five thirty, six thirty, and we used to we used play to play. Again. Yeah, yeah, I remember those days. That was really fun. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so what else? What else did you realize during the lockdown? Have you been cooking something? Ah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Same. thing is the one question i'm asking everyone i don't know why because every yeah. other instagram story during the lockdown was either cooking making cards and stuff kar kar i miss that while i was saying the hobby because uh it was not a hobby as such for me to cook but i did enjoy cooking occasionally so i used to make i used to try all this uh you know uh, uh, restaurant dishes where oh. it is not usually made like pasta this tikka baby corn much you know all, all these uh, side uh, side dishes starters the main starters 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 and desserts ice uh-huh. cream i i did uh, you know manoj was doing this mango ice cream coconut ice cream so how, how do you do ice cream back home with milkmaid and stuff 
Ah, yeah, 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 with milk made and stuff. Milk made, milk and stuff. So I did that also. I tried ice cream, pastas, pizzas. Uh, How was it? That was the million dollar question. Uh, no, uh, the new things which I tried were were not that good. I can say, but pasta I've been making from a long time and stuff. So those things I've I've gotten used to and it comes out pretty well. But new. How did new... your family enjoy it on the new dishes? No, actually they were more eager than me. So okay. they were bored of bored of eating, you know, all the normal routine. And mom especially, she didn't get to go out out outside the home at all because groceries and stuff. Me and dad used to get. So she was inside home. She was like, no, no, you have to make something new. How much I'll cook every day? The same things. You need to do something. So in my in home, I tell you part, what happens. The scenario. Okay, <laughs> when I go inside, everyone, my mom and I are scared because it will be a mess once I come out. She'll be like, you go, you do. You have to clean as well. No, you come out. After you come out, we'll have hours of work together to clean behind your stuff. Correct, correct, correct. Yeah, that is there. That is there. Uh, so cooking also, yeah, I did try a lot of cooking, but uh, that was during initial days. After that, uh, you know, internship, work, exam, so kind of left it. Now though, it is kind of fixed, busy routine that you get a day off on Saturday and Sunday, you just want to sleep. How is nine to five life? Huh? Are you enjoying it? How is nine to five life? Are you enjoying it, or you are still on yeah. the verge of deciding? No, no, no. I'm certainly enjoying uh, nine to five. It is not that nine to five also because few days I sleep late. I I start at ten thirty. I I I can take little bit lengthy lunch breaks, do off my tasks, and uh, team has been really supportive that it it doesn't believe in some sort of a fixed deadline for it. This is the advantage so, you get to working with a startup. Startup. So team believes in quality and. Even though if you take one more day extra, uh, if you get the job done in a in a better way, good enough. Uh, they appreciate. But you have to make sure that you are not simply wasting time and not doing anything else. Yeah, right. So that should be there at the at the back of your mind, saying, okay, stay stay within the limits and uh, you know use your time. So some days I've been working till ten ten thirty in the night, logged off late and all those stuff. So yesterday and today I logged in early seven thirty eight. So by four I was done. So by four I'm done. So I can relax. I had a quick bath, and so that is my evening routine. So I take bath and have coffee. Twice and... a day, or is it you take only a bath in the evening? Depends, depends. No, morning I definitely take because of the team meeting. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, my team has made it compulsory that you need to switch on your video so that you know everyone you know, sees oh, your fresh faces, gosh. gets motivated and stuff. So <laughs> no one is allowed to. Uh, Join the meeting and sleep in face and stuff. So morning is it's compulsory. Evening it is optional. Some days it is too cold, so you want to have some hot water showers and stuff. So Correct. it depends. How is the weather in Bangalore? Is it still raining? Uh, here today it does not rain surprisingly, but yesterday it did rain in in our locality. So it has been on a colder side. Not much of sun, you uh, know, for long time. Long time. Do you like rains? Yeah, I love. I love rains. Why? I, just, just why? Because uh, why? Okay. I am Maybe. dripping from past few days. It's shit. This weather is so <laughs> shitty. Nothing can be done. You feel like sleeping all the uh, freaking time. You like lay on the bed and sleep. <laughs> yeah, that is there. Uh, I I love rain because uh, since. Since you know rain is like a photographer's paradise, you get to shoot, you get to explore your lenses and all those things. Oh, one one thing is that it. one thing is that that is of course dependable from person to person. One more thing is uh, hot snacks, nicely sipping coffee, looking at the rain, aram se, watching some yeah. video like YouTube or something. So uh, of course the the downside is you know you want to sleep and you don't. Do like to do work. The whole thing is the you 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 work entire schedule sometimes gets upside disrupt. down. Yeah, yeah, it gets upside down because of rain. But uh, yeah, that is okay. You need to get breaks also. So that's 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 fine. But uh, yeah, for you know for having food for taking time off work. So yeah. that helps me to take time off work. So that's the reason I love rains. And of course, you are a rider, so you know riding in rain is both good also bad also. You kind of enjoy that breeze. See, 
Yeah. The rails is very good. I'll tell you this one incident. Okay, this was one of my first long rides I did. This was uh, two Agumbe Agumbe carts. While coming back, you wouldn't believe the entire journey. It was somewhere around 575 kilometers. Entire journey yeah. rained so hard, so hard. I was so done. I was full geared. Like entire full rain. It was like 100% waterproof. That also was wet. I was. Oh, I was like so done with rain. After that, I'm like checking the overcast every time. Little range is very good <laughs> to ride, but yeah, it's very dangerous. Really Sometimes it really gets yeah. dangerous, especially in the guard section and all. When it rains, it really gets dangerous. We had a fall that day for the first time in our group. Everything happened. Oh. That rain, oh my god, so much happened. I tell you one words. We had a fall. He was a new rider. That shot again the rain. He had a fall. One more is we stopped for having coffee in the middle where. And one of our riders lost his keys, so oh. the entire group was. We were around. There were we were around seven to eight, uh, seven to eight people, I guess. So the entire uh -huh. group was first of all not in the formation because of the rains. Second uh -huh. of all, me and two others we were very close. We were riding. We stopped for coffee. This was near Tumkur almost. It was raining like literally hard raining, and we lost our key. One of our rider lost his keys, so we had to. Get the vehicle, and then all that happens. That's why this, that's why I hate rain sometimes. Little rains is good, but when it gets too extreme, sir. Yeah. Uh, too much of rain is too much of anything is bad. So too much yeah. rain doesn't. Uh, uh, you get all the rain splattering from the Correct. front vehicle. Yeah, uh, especially if a vehicle, a big truck or something passes by, though you are gone. Gone. Yeah, light rain is uh, pretty enjoyable. Yeah. So I like that that kind of a setup. Not heavy. Driving yeah, is I, fun during uh, rains. Yeah, yeah. I enjoy both riding, driving during. I don't like the sunny weather that you are sweating. You need to put on the AC in the car, <laughs> and uh, you know you you have visor at one end. But uh, if you turn it at one end, there is something at the this end, other end, or so many things. So I don't like that much of that. Even if it is overcast, it is fine for me. I enjoy it. <laughs> I don't need any music. I don't need any any talking. You enjoy the nature. I enjoy the silence while while driving or riding. Nice. I enjoy the silence. You are just one of a kind, I feel. Maybe because I I listen to Gupta and he is always on his uh, earphones while he is riding. I was like, how do you do it? I'm like, <laughs> I can never do that thing. Maybe I can talk with someone while riding, but listening to songs, I don't think I can do that. I also listen to a lot of songs while driving. Yeah, when I come to college. even while riding, yeah, I I think I have to uh, have to check this out. I have to stop listening to it for a some while, and then see. Yes, I'll experiment with that. So uh, I'm asking you one of the questions that I have never asked anyone before. Obviously, you are the second one I'm talking to after lockdown. Third one. So how was well uh, till when was the first time you stepped out of your house during the lockdown? Was it during the lockdown or after the lockdown? You have to be frank. Ah, uh, uh, no, no. During the lockdown, because uh, few days, uh, dad used to go to work. Uh, okay. But when when it was very strict lockdown, I I didn't step out. Maybe April, I didn't step out. May, yeah, I did step out to buy small things, groceries and stuff. But never went uh, away from my locality. Never. So the first time I went away from my locality was coming to college. That <laughs> one exam. Maybe yeah. Once, once I had been to college to meet uh, Dipesh Swami sir during uh, maybe I can say May, May or June maybe. So once I had been because of uh, you no know, research and paper uh, works. Apart from that, no, I have not stepped out at all. How was your journey to the grocery uh, store first time during this lockdown? And how did you shop in there? And how did you come back? Were you scared after coming back? Yeah, yeah I was definitely scared. <laughs> I was scared like anything. Do you won't believe it? Maybe I'm the most scared person in the home, and I have that uh, sanitizer bottle everywhere I go. Even if I go just down and come back up, I sanitize and stuff. Sanitize my hands and stuff. So yeah, I was very scared. Uh, first experience was getting milk, I guess, early morning. But uh, that was a scary experience because at seven, eight o'clock in the morning, some twenty people had come to get milk <laughs> at the same store. So that was scary. 
so i went back <laughs> and back after an hour okay i was seeing okay no one is there then i went to the <laughs> so yeah that was one one different experience after that time uh, once lockdown was unlock 3.0 unlock 4.0 was coming then it was kind of okay coming back to normal yeah yeah so have you ever I'm, uh, used to give all the uh, no mom kashaya. used to give all this kashaya so i had faith in the kashaya <laughs> <laughs> so have you ever experienced light headache or uh, coughs or light fever during no, the lockdown no. and you started I freaking out <laughs> I have lost count of moments like that. <laughs> Literally, and you start freaking like, oh my god, I have to take the test now. What do I and do? One day, one day, I had been, uh, I had almost called the helpline also. Almost, I didn't call. Almost called. Uh, I I was very scared because I had all the symptoms. I had headache. I had body pain in my in my shoulders and stuff. I had fever. I had throat infection also, and I was coughing also. I had. <laughs> i had literally all <laughs> some so i was i was scared like anything but then i decided uh, i was panicking what will happen lot of hospital bills will i will i recover will i get cured properly because those days things were going around saying even though you recover uh, you you will know yeah yeah Correct. so uh, i was scared like anything then i went to the doctor so he he did all he he is an experienced doctor i have been going to him since since i was born so he was he is a pretty experienced and a family doctor so i went to him he did uh, he did a thorough checking of my throat or cough he did all bp everything he tested then he said it is nothing but a common throat infection you might have eaten lot of this oily food stop <laughs> eating that <laughs> it will go <laughs> it will go he gave me tablets also so after 3 4 days yeah this was the time when i just started cycling so stop so this after happened that. After, stopped after that and never even touched the cycle <laughs> after that this, this, this is, is crazy this is crazy this is crazy yeah after that after that uh, once i recovered after that uh, i had two to three uh, moments like that when, <laughs> when when i used to eat all these you uh, know cold drinks chips and all but then i had i was sure that okay it is not covid it is just a normal cold and it's happening because That's of weather nothing else so i used to gargle this salt water every day i literally gargle i have gargled for the whole months every night <laughs> before going to sleep so corona and all didn't stand a chance <laughs> oh my god this is uh, this is very crazy so we'll shift yeah, yeah. to a bit lighter side uh, let's play this epic truth or dare that we started from the last uh, series so you will i I'll, I'll, I'll have 10 questions you have to be very fast hmm. okay we'll start rapid fire or truth or dare rapid fire ah okay rapid fire start, start. truth or dare is actually nice yeah we'll have to plan this for the next episode <laughs> <laughs> we we'll do this truth or dare no, no no we'll do this truth or dare for the group call yeah we'll do that uh, Not we'll do the that. funny answers yes yes we'll do that <laughs> especially with ashit and akshay face akshay. off people will enjoy that <laughs> so we'll start yeah, yeah. are you ready ah yeah, yeah okay ketchup or mayo mayo uh piercings or tattoos not necessarily that you would have one but which one would you opt for uh tattoo maybe tattoo okay puzzles or board games board games apples or oranges oranges definitely oranges yeah you, that you like citrus fruits oh, uh citrus fruits i do like but orange is my favorite i can eat orange any day any time i i just love orange both the fruit and the color an apple a day keeps the doctor away yeah i know that <laughs> uh, but still i love i love oranges a lot okay sandals or sneakers uh sneakers okay ha huh. interesting why i don't know uh, sandals uh, no lot of strap coming out not uh, not the strap doesn't get properly you know which one would you use had... the most uh okay that depends see when you are in your home and stuff and okay college... i'll give you a situation now uh, which one is given an option which one would you wear for the most of your time say you have 5 days i give you 5 days and i give you an option 
sneakers or sandals which one would you prefer uh if i'm going out i'll, I'll prefer uh, no if i'm going out you're uh, going okay I'll take I'll take an entire uh, real life scenario you're going out you're working you're staying home everything everything is happening which one would you prefer okay let me consider the scenario of normal college ah yeah so i prefer sneakers sneakers but sandals are easier to wear and yeah make. sandals are easier when you want to get milk groceries and stuff but actually when you know when you're stepping out for like 2 to 3 hours i would prefer sneakers because i travel by bike so most of the time sneakers is better to shift gears and stuff so i've gotten used to that sandals are uh, Uh, in college also i i never used to wear a lot of you know, sandals i used to wear whatever shoe i have i used to wear that only so now sneakers and stuff have gotten used to that okay fire or ice oh okay this is pretty <laughs> tough <laughs> this is tough this is tough ah uh, i would say ice ice yeah superman or batman okay i'll i'll tell you honestly people might laugh when they see this video but i'm not a you know batman or a spider man fan but okay, just the question is dc or marvel then marvel marvel yeah any okay. any day marvel hypothetically you would have yeah. watched at least few scenarios of superman and batman which one would you select uh superman says so let's let's put this in this question if you wanted to be in the boots of the superman or batman uh Okay, I would, I would, I would like to say Iron Man, but okay, I, I, for this I would say Batman. Lions or bears? Ah, uh, lions. Phone or computer? Computer. Any day. <laughs> Tablet or computer? Ah, uh, computer. Ice cream or cake? Ice cream. Ice cream. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, ice cream. Circles or squares? Oh, okay i'll ask you why i'll ask you why so oh. be mature when you answer circles or squares okay uh, okay circle i'll go with circle why maybe because my favorite foods and the favorite things which i want to do are circle like i want to eat an uh, okay dosa. donut dosa idli a uh, bike car tires all those things are circles so maybe i'll go with circles interesting cars or bikes oh my god this is the most uh, <laughs> i want to say 50 50 no you can't <laughs> one that just close your uh, eyes whatever comes to mind just bike 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 okay have you ever skied or snowboard i uh, know okay which one would you prefer skiing or snowboarding uh i would prefer skiing dangerous you are a very dangerous boy <laughs> uh not dangerous adventurous right. sweet or salty sweet india or us <laughs> one second but but i definitely don't like the chocolate banana pizza in onesta no way yeah, that, that was kind of nice it was one time have that that was kind of nice one slice and i was done <laughs> <laughs> because we I had guess so you much time yes. i guess you remember this uh, me swaraj you we uh, went vishal and finish all and went yeah yeah we went walking we went yes. walking to that yeah i remember one slice i'm done but uh, yeah more of a sweet than the salty tv shows or movies uh okay mm-hmm. i would say movies which was the uh, most recent one that you watched can be old the one you watched most recently a full movie that you watched most recently yeah. uh dil bechara dil bechara oh yeah, that was nice that is the most recent what, what is happening with this case it is going from somewhere to somewhere uh-huh. initially i was uh, i was completely you know keeping track of whatever is happening and all i was getting uh, shocked of the facts but now though i don't know where it is going i'm like oh my god there is so much that we don't know or that does not come yeah. into it yeah yeah it it has it has taken a bad turn of events and stuff uh maybe for a few days i did follow i'll be honest uh but after that when it moved to the cbi all the narcotics department i was like okay this is going some something yeah. it started with something it is going 
may be good thing because you know as you know drugs are bad and people are getting caught and you know illegal things are happening Correct. so somewhere good is happening that people you know this all this rackets are getting you know busted but uh, the way it happened you know what what it was meant to be what it was expected and what it became uh, it it went bad there same with covid also because when covid started we were monitoring the numbers so much correct but now the is, like, now actually when the numbers are actually increasing at the rate no news channel is actually sh- showcasing the facts like i saw this uh, meme yeah, on instagram the other day initially in the march and april when the cases were as low as 1000 2000 this thing now when it is in lakhs gene ke hai char din baaki hai bekar din people are actually acting like that no and you were mentioning about the meme uh, in your previous vlog no that yes. amount of <laughs> that also i saw so that that is somewhere good that uh, you are taking off that mental pressure but of course you need to follow the safety correct. requirements correct so. correct i have not seen the numbers maybe last week when we when me gupta uh, no manoj we all met in college we were talking okay situation is improving there are uh, pretty good discharges happening you know per day and stuff so but at the same time improved. we should never forget the fact that it's still out there and it is still there yeah. yeah 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 people please wear masks and yes. follow the uh, physical distancing don't don't open your masks and you no know, start talking sneezing okay talking stuff. of masks i have a question for you have you ever been out and then later realized that you forgot to wear a mask it has happened to you okay i'm not the only many one times, many times <laughs> yeah even Mom, yesterday i was like i was going on the tour and i'm like something is missing something is missing i'm like shit 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 mask is not there again turn and come back this happened uh, this happened to me recently last week when i was working something and mom was calling she had called me many times like get this get this i was busy in my work so suddenly she was like will you go or not so i just left everything and just <laughs> took the bag money and i went down then i was like oh shit mask is <laughs> mask <laughs> so i came back yeah this has happened mask thing has happened okay last three questions we have in the rapid fire Movie at the theater or movie at home? Theater. Facebook or Twitter? Twitter. Million dollar question. Final question. Android or iOS? Apple or Google? <laughs> you should be very impractical. Impractical. Yes. Okay. Okay. See, yes. I've always wanted to own a, you know, like still it is my dream to own a proper ecosystem of Apple products. just due to the fact of the reliability and 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 uh, we, they say that the experience is pretty good and it is uh, consistent over the time that yes. even though uh, you get a mac you have a mac yes i guess it is 4 years or 5 years it old it is 8 years old i have but the latest still, software running yes yeah but still i can bet that your mac will outperform my current today bought laptop also i can bet that i'm not sure but yeah they are very consistent over the time that very yeah. consistent uh, very premium i want to own but of course costlier side and stuff uh, but i've got a news to this android easy to set up use but i have day, i, I, I have one own. thing okay i have one thing to tell to everyone in on a general saying they mm. tell apple is on a costlier side okay i'll tell you now you are a windows computer uh, owner what yeah. is which was the last okay you bought a laptop recently some 2 3 years ago right you bought in the college yeah. which was the laptop you had before that uh no this was my first laptop okay hypothetically now you have this laptop it is what 2 years old uh third sem i bought it so 3 years old three so confidently how long can you say that this laptop will last for you and as your uh, work you know goes how long can it okay. handle for how many more years yeah yeah so i agree i i will come to that point i agree uh, that i should have gone for a mac because at that time what people think is they see the near case scenario correct exactly even, that's right like, even when i thought uh, at that time i got this current laptop for 40 40 or 1000 it is really nice touch screen full HD, some hd display nice battery backup still it is doing pretty good and i'm pretty sure for for general tasks it will last for even even not two Correct. to three more years Correct. but for work, what i do what what tasks i do every day even today i prefer a mac correct 
See, that's what I tell. Even okay, a, a very a close friend of mine, okay, a friend's friend was in search for a laptop. I know yeah. one of these friends will be watching this, and she will hundred percent. She'll call me and blast me for this, but I'll still tell this. I was. <laughs> she asked me for because any general suggestion. I uh, you remember that day I asked you which laptop is good in the Windows uh, these uh, days. Can, can, so can, she can. asked me. The first thing I told her, why are you going for a Windows laptop? See, her work was professional photo editing and stuff. Like, why, why are you looking at the one short duration? Look for a longer duration. I am a live example. I am okay. using this from 2011. It is still 20. And Premiere Pro, as you know, is a very big software. It runs uh -huh. butter smooth even till date. Only rendering gives me a little issues here and there with 4K videos. But then uh -huh. I can. I I can bet my life that no other Windows laptop which is aged 2010 or 11 can do this smoothly or even can run up uh, Premiere Pro for that matter. So yeah, I yeah. say people <laughs> that when you're paying, you're actually paying for something that is worth its money. So yeah, definitely. If anyone asks me today, uh, I would say yeah, definitely go for a Mac because when when you when you go into a professional setup like work or entrepreneurship. You you do something that uh, involves a lot of things. It is right. not just one thing so for that mac is really good because now everyone is moving to cloud you right. need you need that terminal you need that ui also so right. when you get the best of both worlds in mac you get a nice slick gui good performance you get that terminal all those you know security things so you you incline towards mac but uh, when when we talk of buying a laptop for like School, school, school children. Yeah, obviously that 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 offers a lot Windows. of money. Yeah, when you are in a yeah. stage that you are out of in the grad, nearly graduating, and you start your work, then go for a Mac. It no, will, it is worth it. For any, yeah, for any engineering grad, uh, no student, if he's investing in a laptop in his first or second year, definitely go for a Mac. Correct. No, no doubts, no questions asked. Even though it might cost like what MacBook Air is around. It 90K. starts at sixty-five seventy. You get a Mac for sixty-five seventy. Ah, uh, MacBook Air is the uh, seventy or something. Yeah. Even if you even if you invest like ninety thousand or you get a it is worth it. Thirteen. It will definitely come for five years, five to six for years, sure. without anything. So that when when we think about long-term investment, yeah, that that makes sense. So yeah, to answer the question, Android versus iOS. I want to say iOS because I want to own and you know use those stuff. But currently, I am using this and Android ecosystem. I have a Google Home. I have Chromecast. You know, all our phones are Android and stuff. So how is how is Chromecast? I am. Uh, see, I am in a dilemma of buying a, what is that Fire Stick or a Chromecast? Which one would you suggest? Ah, uh, Fire Stick or Chrome? Yeah, that becomes again Amazon versus. <laughs> I guess Fire Stick is. Uh, See, for me, the brand doesn't matter. For me, all that matters is which is better at what it does. Mm, I've not used Fire Stick or that other other you know uh, plugins, but Chromecast is uh, definitely uh, giving its worth. I bought this for two thousand seven hundred thirty-five dollars uh, two three years back, I guess. But uh, still, to, till today, it is getting uh, good updates. And it streams without any without any issue. The quality is good. Most of the times, I stream this Prime uh, Prime Video documentaries mm -hmm. and stuff. So yeah, it is give it is pretty good. Chromecast and it lets you stream audio, so you can get your home theater to your TV and use that for a good uh, sound uh, experience. Yeah, Chromecast is pretty good for thirty five dollars. Yeah, it does really worth the money. Yeah, so that answered my question. So, what did you miss the most during lockdown? One particular thing you have that you missed most, like oh my god, this is what is uh, affecting the affecting me the most during lockdown. What was that for you? Uh, the most uh, actually, I have three things to say. The most, I'll first say your answer. The most one is uh, getting up, starting my bike with the first or second kick and grooming off. That will be the first and foremost thing. Second thing is yeah, friends, college life, you know, sitting together talking. Third thing is food. <laughs> you know, we used to go and have food like anything outside. You know, if, if we used to bunk classes and sit in a canteen, enjoy. So those three things I I miss the the bike thing is like uh, I miss the most. <laughs> It is still uh, unbelievable that for three months, 
Papa, the bike has you know, <laughs> stood there idle in his double stand. <laughs> Yesterday, I used to go to garage, start it up, warm it up and stuff. But now I've been uh, taking it out like college and stuff. So yeah, I, I miss my bike a lot. So has the fact that college has ended kicked, kicked in yet or not yet? Yeah, You're yeah. still in that. <laughs> it has kicked in. It it properly kicked in at the last day when we uh the 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 what is that? The last day of exam when we shoot everything, the, the vlog and everyone were going home. Yeah. So once everyone left, I I, I stayed back maybe for 15-20 minutes extra. I was talking to Sudarshan. Uh then it was like, okay, goodbye. Everyone said goodbye. We took a lot of uh, no pics. We were all featured in your vlog also. That that felt nice. But once I got home, uh, the reality sunk in, saying, "Okay, this this actually might be the last yes. time where maybe all six, seven, or n number of our friends in our circle would meet actually meet in college as students. Yeah, in college as students. And I was just thinking of all those things. I had a shower. I came back, and I was having food." So then Sudarshan called me. Honestly, I'm telling, I'm revealing this. So Sudarshan called me, and he was like, "Bro, what is happening, bro? I feel all of a sudden, I uh, know I'm feeling it now. You know, it is end of uh, end of an era. All those things." So then I was like, "Oh yeah, yeah, you are you are <laughs> you're understanding my emotions, but you are making me go into that even more deeper." Deep. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it has sunk in, and definitely you miss those days. I still want to rewind back to first sem days where uh, <laughs> we used to experience all those things in locations, class, physics. Oh my God! I met Sri Lakshmi, ma'am, last Saturday, and she still remembers that we bunked her class. <laughs> yeah. And she said one point. She said one real nice point. Uh, I'll say that in Kannada. She said that, "And yar yar ek bhai di di na udhar aagi thare." <laughs> Correct. Definitely, definitely. With that, I give you. Me and Swaraj, though, we were open. He got out of the class one day. Oh so yeah, I definitely want to rewind and relive all those first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, some memories. Eighth, some we didn't, we didn't have that. We didn't meet that often because it was hardly yeah. any time. And suddenly the COVID started and all that happened. Correct. We we didn't get to have a graduation. Maybe that. Few days we would have enjoyed dressing right. up, meeting, pictures, uh, food, you know that that proper uh, send off and stuff. Maybe yeah, we were unlucky, uh, but yeah, I do miss. <laughs> Every morning I wake up, I wake up, so I start my work by eight thirty nine, but I make it a point uh, that I just ping a few people. with whom i used to ping a lot and uh, i miss i miss those uh, yeah, correct college calling uh, you know someone used to call we are in the class ha ha class has started come down come quickly so i i do miss i i miss those things so every morning when i wake up i was like those are the days correct very very true making me emotional <laughs> but yeah not emotionally emotional <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Yeah. What was your most memorable moment from engineering? There will be one moment, one most memorable moment that you often cherish. Memorable moment. Ah, uh, okay. I, have I to know. Say, I know. Especially engineering college, there will be many, but there will be one that is very close to your, uh, and you always remember and always cherish it, which is that. Okay, there are a few events which happen. Okay, which are the birthdays. <laughs> so those are one of the memorable moments which i definitely can't forget at all my birthday i can say yeah but everyone's birthday from from the first time we started celebrating birthdays which was manoj's birthday i still have the boomerang of you having that a uh, firecracker doing like this <laughs> <laughs> so it all started from that day uh, memorable things there are a lot of memories made cherished but birthdays are the fun best moments especially yes, because uh, yes, everyone yes. have to yeah because of harshit gupta this there is this person okay for people who have no context he is featured in many of my vlogs but yeah you have to meet this person this person is one of a kind like one of a one of a kind for one you of our friends harshit 
totally agree for one of our friends birthdays the cake he bought please please explain guru what was that cake that he bought for manoj's birthday uh, should i reveal it or yeah, yeah, yeah yeah reveal it <laughs> reveal it let people know the impact of what he does on a birthday okay so harshit gupta is is the most psyched fellow we have met yeah and i think i have, have, I'll never meet any agree. more psyched person other than mr gupta Harshit Gupta, yeah. So anyone who has known him will definitely agree that he is the most psyched person. So he does this outrageous things to birthdays. <laughs> outrageous. You can never imagine that this would happen. So your birthday is in the coming week. You will be praying, literally praying that okay, let this guy celebrate my birthday or our birthday peacefully. <laughs> so he he does lot of atrangi things he'll mix lot of things example would be he'll mix cream he'll mix curd he'll mix mm. flour together and apply mm. it on our yes, head so that it is not really he legit tied anup on celote from top till uh, chest level he literally celote yeah. him like legit celote <laughs> yeah so hilarious you can never imagine maybe in your lockdown uh, when in your lockdown stories when we do the group we should uh, give some insights to people yes, yes. Uh, what what exactly happens in our birthdays Great. so for manoj's birthday he got a very what uh, a beautiful cake that was <laughs> beautiful cake the taste was amazing because i don't i'm saying it because i did yeah the cake. you know i've never tasted the cake the cake was but that i still beautiful. Love us. beautiful amazing and uh, i feel bad for manoj uh, because yeah. he had to that cake he was I happy think. and shocked at the same time he's like wow yeah. they got two cakes and then he's like oh fuck <laughs> this is <laughs> this is gadget <laughs> please reveal yeah. the cake time to reveal time has come to reveal the cake yeah okay. okay so there is no subtle uh, subtle way to put this <laughs> it is the thing we see every day in the morning <laughs> when we wake up <laughs> we get up we open the bathroom door and we go the to first thing you see yeah that first is the thing cake we do yeah that is the cake so he modeled the cake he modeled a toilet let's put it he modeled a toilet and made a cake indian toilet yeah with detailed design yeah it all was uh, uh, maybe i should not say it on camera on this uh, <laughs> thing i should not say it online but every single detail was there yeah like to he, the he point detailed Yeah, and he topped it up with something also. I yeah. do remember it. So yeah, people, you can imagine what was the cake. So yeah. it was that hilarious and outrageous to you know see the cake. And the wackiest point was that cake was cut and given to our. Uh, <laughs> the top side was hitchody. I think. Oh my God! I think. It was not visible after we cut the cake into pieces. We none of us had. Yeah, yeah. None of us had. Akshay had. No, Akshay also didn't have. It was only him. Is like sir, cake and he had it. Oh my god. In our our expression. Like cake is like this, sir. Birthday. Sir, cake. And, and he I was couldn't the resist. He couldn't photo. resist. He had to take, <laughs> and he took. Wow. Oh my god. Wackiest, wackiest birthday, outrageous. And for Manoj's birthday, I'll tell you people, he made a, uh, he made that sara of lemon uh, and chili. Lemon and chili. And uh, he uses lot of snow spray. Ah, uh, lot drinks. He uses the things. He uses the things which are sticky, which won't go off easily. Yes, permanent holy yeah. colors and stuff like that. For example. Yeah, yeah. So that you can't remove that. Uh, yeah. That easily. Yeah. He stay. wants that person to. He wants that person to uh, struggle hard to get that. Yeah, like at so, least stay there for two to three days. Definitely, you know, even even that curd cream smell was coming out of my hair. Hair had become sticky. <laughs> Next level. Yeah. Hmm. So, what else? I think you. Do How you want to ask? Your lockdown. My yeah. lockdown. Yeah, I started vlogging. This happened. and then i had to do few courses from the company which i instantly at the initially i didn't do was like hey, what is there then later when they started giving test i was like oh shit if i don't do this i'm fucked and then started doing them 
I think uh, I had a, you know, initially in the family, like some of the other people would always be busy or something of that sort. Lockdown is that period where, you know, you can sit with all the people, you know, the entire family, we all sat together, played a few games, talked, watched a movie together. All this happened. I live in small moments. I uh, look after happiness in my small moments. I don't look after a long time. It's like whatever is there today, if I feel happy, I'm, I'm the happiest person on earth. So I enjoyed yeah, it. And- yeah, slowly even I'm I'm doing that because uh, you know we need to live our moments. That is one thing which I guess everyone has real- realized in this lockdown. Correct. Be happy with whatever small moments, cherish that, and you know don't look at at the big. Who stuff. knows what and, might happen in the next moment? Yeah. Whatever you have in your hand is what you have. Live the moment. And uh, seeing and seeing all those uh, uh, you know sad uh, sad moments for various families. You know, few few actors and big personalities yeah. passed away. So, a lot of bad happened. things, a lot of bad things has happened in, during this year. And so, the start of the decade was not that good. So, yeah, again, I believe in one more fact, right? If something yeah. bad is happening, there is something better always that awaits you. So, let's hope yeah, yeah. that uh, we have a very pretty good start of the decade after this bad time ends. So yeah, let's hope mm, for that. Yeah, because you know a lot of things happen. It started with I guess Australian fire, climate Correct. change, corona, hurricanes, tsunamis, earthquakes. A lot of bad things. Many, I guess uh, literally everything of natural calamity has happened. Correct. Year. So it has been a tough time for all people, rich, poor, you know, staying in cities, villages, every every single person has been affected. So hoping that you know. Uh, technology engineers, doctors try to rebuild and give their best. I know, you know, big shout out to doctors. Yeah, all the doctors, nurse, especially for the work nurses. they're doing. Yeah, yeah all police. the medical staff, ambulance drivers, cops, everyone who yeah. involved. Because, uh, yeah, because I saw a video sometime during lockdown. You know, the PPE kit, what they actually go through. You know, they have to wear that kit for a whole day. Yeah, it, even if you wear it for 10 minutes, you start sweating a lot. Like a lot, lot, you'll start sweating inside out. It is very difficult. It, it, you yeah. feel like you're inside a coffin or something. You feel start, you start suffocating. So it is very hard. So yeah. big shout out to all the doctors and all the stuff. Yeah, definitely. We should be, uh, we should thank them and uh, support them not violate this uh, no physical distancing mask i see every day yeah. i see because uh, when i have my morning coffee or when i just go to my balcony uh, i can say only 6 out of 10 people wear mask still we should, 4 out of 10 yeah that's what we should start educating people i guess people are still not aware how dangerous the situation is and if we still not in a position that we start taking precautious measures this is going to just worsen the situation that's what i feel yeah so honest uh, you know request to all uh, viewers please please uh, you know stay stay in your bubble think of uh, your surroundings your family friends Correct. before uh, thinking of doing something violating the norms and Correct. have a have a have a thought in your mind uh, that doctors police government everyone is striving hard to Make the you know uh, to get back the situation to normalcy. So please don't uh, uh, you know harm their uh, sincere Correct. efforts. Correct. And Not I know it's unlock going on, but again, have precautions. Take precautions. Take at most precautions that you are safe as well as you're keeping people around you safe as well. Yeah, yeah. Correct. Correct. So, uh, what are your plans for now? As you Beyond know. I'm my graduation plans, is it? Yeah. No, so after, as, after, no. So okay, yeah, I'll tell you. Graduated, so what do you want to do? Huh, so now my plan was again, I wanted to do future studies, which again, because of COVID, entire plan got shifted. So mm-hmm. until then, I think I'll have to just work with the offer that I have in hand. Just try out the corporate life. Because I don't think I'm a person who works for 9 to 5 all my uh, entire lifetime, you know, because I think this is, I'm not supposed to tell this, but I'll tell this. This is just to earn money, keep yourself and people who, de- who depend on you contented. After a certain a- time, I want to just chill, travel around the world and stuff. I have more plans for that. So for that to happen, you need to earn. For that, you need to work. For that, I have to do the job. 
So yeah, for the next one and a okay. half years though, I'll work in a corporate job. So we are in the same boat because even I had plans for my masters, that became ahead. So yeah, that was one of the contributing factors to my stress. Okay, this happened. What to do? I have to do something. I I need to have a backup. So yeah. So even I have sub similar plans. You know, to to not work the entire entirety of my life. So I want to work hard for maybe next twenty years and then just Correct. and then uh, just relax, traveling. do do fashion, yeah. do things passionately. I don't know vlog yeah. for that in. I love traveling. Yeah, I, I, I love I traveling. See. So want to earn a lot of money to do that. So so basically that is one one thing where I hustle a lot and spend a lot of time, ten hours, twelve hours per day working so that I get that you know big dream uh, checklist. I have some. Mm-hmm. some 40 places to bucket visit bucket list bucket list only you no know, places to visit there are what there is one more bucket list to things to do one more bucket list of things to eat but places to visit is some okay, which place which place is in the top most priority in this bucket list of you visiting to places places okay in uh, there are many places one uh, place yeah. that your utmost favorite place uh go on a go on a ride to ladakh oh yeah Visit Pangong Lake, uh, the Nubra Valley, all those things. So uh, I'm aiming that in in my next three to four years. So hopefully I I earn enough money and sponsor the trip completely by myself. So yeah, fingers crossed for that. So inside India, yeah, I want to uh, you know ride, explore places, visit other the unvisited places, and yeah, a lot of places I want to visit abroad also, tour Europe, Spain. all those things have are really nice places to yeah. enjoy the cultures but yeah i need to uh, i want to personally explore india first because a lot of places are uh, yeah india is nice yeah india is one of those countries which is not at all uh, explored to the very deep extent like there are places like ladakh people don't uh, know yeah exactly yeah. yeah many people don't know about the small uh, unheard places but actually they are very nice yes you no know, nice scenery they give a good peace of mind the 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 reason you travel is for getting that peace of mind right. you you enjoy you get in that scenario so there are a lot of places there are tons of places in and around bangalore also that people have not uh, people don't know right. so hopefully once lockdown ends we all get together right to those places i have a big big bucket list of places where we can go we'll do all things. that one after the other yeah yeah uh, before lockdown once i uh, started earning uh, you know internships and all i i have ticked few places like okay. kolar a uh, few hills and getaway places around bangalore and stuff so i have ticked down some five to six places but yeah i have lot of places to visit so we'll do yeah, that one after the other mind, when, when i work sometimes when i don't get motivation i think of all these things yeah i want to do it so and yeah that is get instant motivation think, yeah driving forces of of that busy schedule yeah. people might find it weird that why is he you know even my own parents mom dad feel it feel weird that why is he working so much <laughs> he can work work whatever is there in his work and just come out of his room and do his stuff you know normal you know but uh, I I don't know. I have all these things to do. So yeah, it is good that you are realizing some things very early and keep going on. That's what I say because that is many people can't uh, you know even afford to realize that you realize so much at this point of time. So why not? Correct, correct. Why not? So if if any, my motto is if someone else can do it, why not? Yeah, definitely. Even I can do it. So, so yeah, yeah. So that is uh, that is one aspect of. No traveling, motivation, aspirations. <laughs> When are we meeting next? Uh, hopefully soon. Maybe we'll try to meet. Maybe sometime this month or beginning of next month. We'll we'll try to uh, you now get for a ride. People don't uh, scold us because we are not violating all this. No, 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 no. We are not violating any rules. Yeah, we are on our bikes. We are wearing masks. we can go to a remote location and come back to home safely so a lot of people think okay you're going out you're violating but no. violating means you are getting together having fun you know uh, removing your mask so that is a violation 
so i don't think riding bikes to a location we are educated having... enough to understand the severity yeah. of the situation and take measures yeah yeah so yeah it's been long time since we all met and went out so yeah we'll plan something in the next yeah, coming weeks. very soon yeah next week saturday sunday at the coming week we'll see even i have to get my bike serviced and stuff so i'll it's get so that long. yeah even me i have to guess i don't know when i got it i called the i called the service center guy today so he says sir uh, your last service was in november uh, and it it is due service in 6 months every 6 months so he said sir covid ide so mooru tinglu gaadi odsirala ivaga neevu next week thavamanni oil change maadi ella maadi kodtini hello okay pass sunday bartini so yeah now uh, we can afford to you not know, to get back to normal because it is very difficult to stay at home yeah you can't you have crossed that that's why unlocking and all that government should do realize that cases are increasing and they are do aware they are much intelligent than us and they have much more concern for the people of the country at the same time yeah. they know the adverse effects that you get into a mental situation where you can't that, that is just that is just yeah. human nature that you can't stay there so at the because same time that's what yes you should take precautions yeah. when you do something and you should be educated enough that is what yeah yeah definitely 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 because uh, i was talking to to my mentor who is currently in uh, philadelphia america so i briefly worked for him for 2 to 3 months uh, as an intern so there in america as you know uh, things uh, you know people shop at walmart saturday sunday they 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 have gotten to some sort of a normal life where they are taking precautions but uh, they are not getting afraid majority of problem in india i want to say this uh, news channels uh, news channels they are affecting a person's mentality like anything yes, correct you know over hyping telling that anyone who is going to hospital is not coming back itself yes. something like that will affect a lot and people are scared to do even the normal things see you can't uh, no one can stay at home for months together and you know come out you know it. who this is affecting the most the my grandparents if i take the example the, the these tv channels are just mixing things up they are just confusing people and putting into situation wherein oh my god don't ask yeah 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 they are so doing utter bullshit bullshit utter bullshit it is just for trp i like to say that it is for trp nothing Open, else yeah nothing because when when the lockdown started in march uh, we were in native before the lockdown announced we went to native to be in a safer side once we came back uh, the cases were bit in control but then uh, once it started shooting up every night okay at my home they used to watch my mom dad and sister i never used to watch this news channel every night they used to watch this news channel you know for continuously weeks together one day i had enough attention that i properly scolded it see there is no you seeing what's happening correct it will definitely affect you you will feel scared to even step out of your door also yeah and you know how they speak sometimes especially during this canada channel i tell you there is this one lady i will not, i will not take the name this, she speaks she first of all she is just sitting there blabbering utter bullshit and then she tells government care on inna on mark aglil venri our gone medicine tarak aglil venri what are they doing i'm like what is this lady even talking how much effort people the government is putting people are putting to find vaccines and stuff they don't realize and they blabber shit correct this is just new channels yeah that is what uh, my mentor said the main difference is the mentality so at at america or in america no one is scaring people here tv channels newspapers are scaring the people unnecessarily correct. so that correct. is affecting and people are like no no you can't go out no no you can't do this you can't do that but since you are a human being you need to venture out that is your nature you can't force Get in for 6 months things. 6 months yeah. containing is good yeah but uh, yeah you need to get back you can't stay the rest of your life or you can't afford to waste your 2 years of life this way man Because, is called a social animal for a reason yeah so at some point you will feel that you need to get out you will get to that you will get to that state okay uh because imagine you're working you're working all the time since it is work from home the moment you get up you log in once you log out you just sleep so you are doing nothing else apart from working and building up that mental pressure 
imagine lockdown is not there you get to travel so you get to take right. your time off the screen lot of screen time now 6 8 10 hours you're spending in front of the screen but yeah even phones have almost doubled i guess yeah so every are. day uh, i charge my phone twice or no almost three times a day that is the amount of screen usage laptop i charge that is always plugged in so it is a good thing but yeah uh, like lockdown is good but all the screen time is it, it is enormous and no need to go out and find a bit yeah and this online education uh, my sister she is in her first pu now so she is spending what 6 to 7 hours per day tuition college at that age your eyes are getting affected a lot that and i don't affect- think the education is uh, very effective through online manner nothing nothing online is not it at is all. just for the sake of doing it they are doing it you log in uh, you you start the class you give your attendance and you sleep most of, i have seen that i have seen that happen. so it is not effective but once you get out you you get to travel you get to take some time off imagine a riding driving you listen to song you see nature less less yeah but uh, yeah this this uh, you know hypothetical situation of staying at home for one more year uh, i don't think that that will be possible some point we need to venture out but maintaining all safety precaution still yeah, that it won't affect you i guess yeah yes it should that's if everyone takes prop if can be back to normal yeah yeah definitely definitely i i am in support of that if you maintain proper protocol see unnecessary you should not go out you should not unnecessarily go out and you know remove your mask and do all those stupid things go out when it is necessary go out go for a walk go for a run you know uh, enjoy that right. outside time also but not in a stupid way that's all if you are well within your limits you know nothing can harm you. so yes we were telling i was telling him that officially i can tell that because we always talk together and we can never run out of topics to speak but then there's this time yeah, criteria yeah. that place in so what else have you got <laughs> us to tell any interesting stuff uh interesting stuff ah uh every day is interesting some other thing will be happening work family yeah. lot of uh, funny things whatsapp forwards lot of jokes uh one thing i i certainly missed was sports uh, i am i am a big fan of football i feel starting from uh, day after yes i want jinx it i want jinx it by saying the word but uh, yeah sala cup namde guru dubai alli sala cup namde cup number so I think yeah because they were that. playing match in the home country i think rcb was that was the panoti for rcb now dubai is a league cup number yeah 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 and uh, we are getting to see danish sets videos yeah, yeah, yeah. oh my god yeah, this danish set is one person yeah danish set is one person i think oh my god amazing concept is so amazing yeah exactly uh, awesome videos right from lockdown No, even before lockdown also, yeah. we had started this uh, Pyari Bakri. Starting uh, with series. Shivaji Nagar News Central. <laughs> that was a big. Ah. No, and remember, remember, we used to use his prank call methods, and we did prank yeah. many of our classmates. Many. Shravant, Sharad, Akshay, Akshay, Suhas. Yeah, Suhas, bank, bank. <laughs> <laughs> He was ready to give debit card number. Oh my God! And that too, he did a live class in front of a teacher. Do you remember? Correct, 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 correct. Yeah, yeah. We have done. We, we, we don't. We can't run out of topics to talk. Right. Especially, I would like uh, to tell this Akshay's prank call. Me and Akshay weren't uh, weren't on talking terms back then. Talking terms, we hadn't met uh, at that time. So I think Manoj and you, I pranked him. He's like we scared him. He's like, "Yen bardi ja, what have you written in the exam? Yenu bardi la, what is this? There's nothing in the brain baranta." He's like, "Sir, I'm on the way. I'm coming. I'm coming." <laughs> That was epic. <laughs> oh my yeah. god! Prank calls, Danish Aid. Danish Aid. I used to look forward to his uh, Instagram videos. You know that one minute of 
um, you know, intense happiness, laughter. Yes. 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 So yeah, so it has uh, given an opportunity to all artists also yes. who have come to social media and uh, you know, talent. They showcase their talent and in entertaining a lot of people. Yes. So yeah, RCB Insider, prank calls. You know, sports is coming back. Football is coming back. IPL is coming back. Tennis recently, uh, you know, US Open yes. went through completely. So yeah, life is coming to a normalcy, but uh, they are following the bio bubble, safety bubble. So yeah, hopefully, you now things get better. We get a vaccine soon. Yeah, let's hope. And, uh, so maybe uh, soon we'll be all sitting in a nice restaurant, having food, yeah. and without trying. any much tension in your head. Yeah, without any tension. <laughs> so looking forward to that. On that note, lockdown stories series episode. Six word of thanks by Mr. Pranav, please. Yeah, so thank you for uh, having me, and I I definitely enjoyed this rapid fire. I the 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 day when you announced this, you are doing. A you were one of the first. I I wanted to see. I'll tell you. I'll tell you honestly. You were one of the first person that asked me to be a part of this, and I wanted in. in I'll tell you. I wanted to you be the first person to be uh, featuring in this. but then i had committed to someone else even before that so that's why i apologize uh, to you that i that day, that couldn't happen but yeah no that's okay that's okay but the moment you said this lockdown story is happen i was the first person to ping you because i wanted to you know experience that fun video chat reliving the mem- memories because see, every day we are in this uh, strict schedule and even in college we used to get ample amount of time but once college was done we rarely used to you uh, know get interactive talk yeah. and just really were moments because both of us know that maybe for both of us we were the first set of friends we made in yes, college yes, i still remember you joined exactly a week later of the 7th yes. on a wednesday and uh, you were standing outside the classroom and i asked you a uh, new student ah uh, Yes. then you said yeah then computer science then we well, then we became friends and the only second friend was swaraj suhas and uh, manoj so we all became friends at the same time you were the first one i met in my engineering college same same so, with me yeah i wanted that opportunity where i get to relive all those crazy moments so yeah in fact, i can already, say that we no. can't put all those in a single video or in fact any number of videos can't make uh, can't bring back those memories but yeah little bit that uh, uh, you know people can listen and just enjoy and get their yeah. moment of even, uh, happiness through our moments yeah even even though if if this was not going on a lot i would have done that yes i would want to do this with everyone who has been my friend manoj sudarshan everyone uh you know a lot of fun memories lot of close friends uh but i guess you should definitely get shravant on this lockdown stories <laughs> he'll, be of, he'll be a really nice person to talk <laughs> <laughs> even before i start he'll be the most uh, you know standing out person for the series <laughs> yeah 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 so yeah we forgot to talk about the chemistry lab days yes. so uh, chemistry classes lot of fun stuff you know people used to come late and and the attitude and and the way uh, yeah, exactly yeah you must sir used to used to portray <laughs> was mind blowing i guess everyone from our uh, we were in which batch uh, c c2 c2 yeah so everyone in c2 batch would agree that those days were like probably no, actually, one, of one of the most laps like you waiting to go you know why i did yeah, the procedure exactly. of uh, labs okay so i we used to do one this thing also what is a what do you call this kind of tradition that we used yeah. to do before uh, before uh, entering the chemistry lab that small dish that we used to do was we used to drink uh, small you get the small coke bottles or anything oh, oh, oh. no no wait wait it is not coke it is not coke uh, initially it was started with coke and then that soda pop some, soda, some kind uh, of thing uh, cranberry flavor ah uh, no we used to drink that when you should throw the bottle behind our backs <laughs> and we used to enter the lab because we had by one went right from yeah i want to tell tell to our audience that we used to drink that proper you no know, small bottle it was 10 rupees 
and yeah we miss the canteen a lot you know tasty food at a very affordable price we used to have that double triple, uh, triple. lot of monkey memories ha uh, yeah lot of tooth and dare moment memories in canteen utsaha times so we used to drink this as a as a as a good luck so whenever we used to drink this and throw it near a specified place the place is still there yeah. so whenever we used to do that we used to pass through the viva very easily very easily so one day one day we we tried okay let us test without doing it yes. and we got screwed bro- yeah, badly yeah properly screwed that was the only day we got screwed yeah in the entire lab so we thought okay even though we are having that juice let us continue having it because five marks was that uh, you know lab viva and shrinivas sir as any of the c2 batch or any of our second sem class would know he was damn strict i still remember uh, uh, monish and uh, who was Wonder that and um, yes. um, prakash <laughs> i still i have still saved that number in my has the same name oh, yeah yeah, so, yeah. So, a lot a lot of fun moments there lot of fun moments there so yeah it is tough to put uh, really all those memories but i have been following your vlog from day one uh, maybe i'll be the first five ten people to like also thank you when whenever see because i've subscribed to that bell button yeah. so, <laughs> so i get a notification so that becomes my my getaway time also i'll be honest because you'll be doing some work and you want to get you want to get uh, you know some some sort of a uh, change of you know you know work so because it is mostly i uh, know lockdown stories or some fun you know, cake trek all those things so yeah you that just made my life thanks a lot that means a really lot to me that really means so a lot come to <laughs> subscribe to the channel and click on that uh, yes. bell button to get notifications yes. and uh, yeah it is an honor to you know be as a guest as a friend and talking here at lockdown stories i uh, never uh, you know got to know the time that it is already 620 maybe yeah you know time, time flew like anything <laughs> yeah just yeah. always does when you got to yeah so yeah it has been a really fun please uh, keep doing the vlog i know you are taking lot of time to edit you know render all those all those stuff it is really a tough thing to you know properly vlog so keep doing it because lot of people are actually waiting and they See, follow when someone uh, like you tells this 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 gives me instant <laughs> motivation to do it and i'll keep doing it <laughs> thanks a lot that just no, really made my day yeah keep doing keep doing uh, uh, the normal things like i really like the bicycle thing maybe try to do the bike thing many users would you know get motivated to maintain their bikes use their bikes and uh, it need not be you know specific or some something else it can be the day to day routines uh, the way you put it and see i am a camera shy person with uh, i get very nervous in front of camera i have given a webinar uh, like in deep learning during this lockdown that was one of the most scariest times because uh, when you are talking in front of people in in real time that's okay but in front of this camera you don't know what other other you know participants are thinking so i am a very camera shy person so uh it kind of says that when you vlog with that confidence you talk around say yeah this is happening so i'm like really, okay not that difficult to come in front of camera so that has uh, somewhere put that thing in my mind okay you should not get scared of the camera also so that is the reason and uh, when when i saw this lockdown story i was like okay i need to experience this somehow so how did you did you enjoy it Oh, it was the the best time, fun, <laughs> lot of fun memories, rewind moments, rapid fire. So yeah, definitely, I loved uh, every single minute of this uh, lockdown story. So yeah, even though even though it'll go on YouTube and stuff, uh, even if it was not, I would say that yeah, I would definitely love to, uh, you know, come and you know uh, connect with all my friends. Since yeah. we used to connect for our virtual birthdays. and i was eager okay we'll join we'll talk we'll see the cake cutting yes. uh, uh, he has to do no. something ajib even in during the lockdown yeah he's Corona. sleeping posture he's sleeping posture with the sunglasses yeah. and no lights so yeah you want to get connected you don't want to get away from your friends and 
so yeah that was one of the move, one of things which was in my mind saying yeah yeah so on we get everyone in one session and do it yeah yeah definitely you need to get everyone on board i will very yeah. soon yeah, yeah, yeah very soon put it on my to do list right here it is going <laughs> yeah, yeah it is going to be hilarious fun you will get like we can keep that thing going for 2 hours 3 hours easily but yeah. people might get bored to watch that Yeah, I'll tell you this. Okay. Once yeah. you start listening to random conversation, no, it hits you on another level. I said it many times. I'll say it again. I even sometimes yeah. when I get bored, right? Night, I am listening to all my uh, whatever I've talked the lockdown stories episode one, episode two. Episode, it it is a, it is a lot damn fun, and you just you you feel happy when you listen to it. That's so. That's why the whole point of this thing is to do that. You know, so you listen yes. to random conversations and feel happy. Yes, 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 definitely. Yeah. So we'll get everyone. Huh? We'll get everyone once all full the entire yeah, group. Sure, because I've seen uh, other episodes of lockdown stories, and uh, definitely loved how how the way everyone you know got off with their college memories, friends, and all those things. So yeah, definitely we should invite everyone and do it. So hopefully, yeah. Uh, uh, we'll try to get everyone on board and uh, yes very so mega mega episode yes very so yes yes and i'm sure all the records of your views likes will will be broken easily <laughs> very true i will say the same thing it, <laughs> because it is going to be that epic 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 yeah people might not understand but uh, once you once once people will see everything and uh, they will you know, watch all the wacky stories uh it is going to be fun i'm already waiting for that yes very soon very is very soon yes 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 okay so what next uh is coming in your blog or lockdown stories Give so i interest. think i think very soon uh, one episode from nandi hills is, will come up planning on that nandi hills in the sense uh, your blog kind of blog yeah travel kind of blog uh, me and my cousins are planning still planning so because of certain situations we, we don't want to take risk when because i heard nandi hills recently opened and there are a lot of people visiting and there is too much crowd and so as i told you now we want to see the sunrise also because yes. it is all rainy really cloudy so yeah. we're just waiting for the app time and the weekday when the crowd is less and uh, yes. you can go that thing yes. next that and then lockdown stories episode 6 is coming and then planning of the entire crew to come up so that is that will be happening very soon and i'm planning on one more thing i'm still not sure whether i'm going to implement or not but uh, this has been in mind from quite a long and many people have told me to do this so i'm I've, i'm planning on putting a four years down the line around in a single video like random oh, clips of oh. all the video footage just photo photo something into a one small and video and be a memoir like, like a thing so that, that is going to happen Yes, so that is uh, that is what is uh, scheduled. See, I am a person who don't schedule on things. I wake up in the morning. This is I don't write stories to my blogs. That's why all of my blog is kind of experiment. Hi, I put yeah. in first few blogs, I put in experiment. Yes, it is impromptu. Yes, it. I uh, see lockdown. So it's also I tell you why it it is just an on thought, and I in, even before the I said okay we'll do something of this sort, and then came on Instagram and and this thing on I just shot that. So I am not a person who plans like okay, you think really this month you should do this video, that video, <laughs> no nothing, because that is just not the real moment. I want to be see. I expect when I see a vlog, it has to be realistic. It is not like planned, written, and th- that is it not just not. It should not be scripted. Yeah, it. I want to be in a more humanly way as humanly as possible. So I am that kind of person. So. you never know what might uh, come to my mind uh, next morning or a few days down the line so whatever comes i just uh, keep posting nice nice keep doing it uh, yes. i can say yeah yeah your blogs your videos your effort oh. has certainly been entertaining and informative also not only just entertaining because a lot of informative videos you're putting in i remember the backpack i remember the camera the helmet where you fit the uh, gopro and stuff yeah so few few things are really informative and of course the fun side of it is also there so yeah keep doing all the best and people don't forget to subscribe uh, you know like and uh, share and uh, hit that bell button also yes gente odi yeah so thanks a lot it was a pleasure talking to you and with that note 
we'll stop the recording and go back to a little talking on off the recording so please yeah, yeah. <laughs> please recording this time so he has to stop the recording <laughs>